Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing a baby necessity video. Well, I guess this will be in the morning for y'all, but for me it's tonight. Um, I'm just going to show y'all all the things I've been loving, kind of explain them a little bit, and then I'm going to go to bed because it's about two hours past my bedtime, if you can't tell by my super red eyes. Um, I decided that I wanted to take a shower and stuff tonight by myself. So the kids got baths in the sink and I had to wait until they went to bed and the house was clean for me to get in the shower. So it's late. Um, so I'm going to try and get through this video really fast, show you all everything that we've been loving. And I'm going to start off with the really simple stuff really quick. Um, this brush we've been, been using since uh, Bella was a baby. So it's pretty old. Bella even still uses it sometimes. You can see the bristles. Now you can see. The bristles are kind of coming out. Um, you can see all the lotion in it too. What we do is we put this lotion all over our baby's head. And then we gently, gently rub in little circles all over her head. She doesn't have hair right now. So we just kind of brush her scalp a little bit. Um, just to rub off any of the dead skin. We never rub hard. We just barely Barely scrape over her head just to kind of rub some lotion in and kind of exfoliate her head a little bit um, The next thing is this diaper cream if you have issues with diaper rashes Highly recommend this this gets rid of our kids rashes overnight. So it's a and D ointment. I got that from Walmart also the generic brand of that works just as great so don't feel like you have to buy the name brand for it to work because that works just as good um the next thing are these newbie soothing tablets bella has issues teething she's always super fussy always has problems so we started using these with her when she was around three months old and she started teething well this time around we actually didn't even mention a word about it to our pediatrician when we used them with Bella. We didn't say a word. So she didn't even know that we knew about them. So we took Ellie in and she was a newborn. We were talking about her tummy issues and she recommended these. And we were like, we have some of those at home, but it says three plus months. So talk to your pediatrician before you just whip these out just because I said so. Um, but she told us that it would be okay for just uh, for us just to go ahead and start using them with her um, at half the dose so we were only giving her one instead of the two and now she gets two because she's three months old we love those they're just little chamomile tablets so they're not like I know you've probably seen the issue with the teething the all natural teething tablets I think it was the Highland baby brand they had a big recall for it um, these haven't had a recall. They are super, super good. Highly recommend them. Love those. The next thing I'm going to get into are these gas drops. Because of Ellie's tummy issues, she has to have these every night before bed or she won't sleep. She just has really bad tummy problems right now. We're trying to get it fixed, but we won't be able to switch her formula until the first. So this is what we're working with for now. I have found that the name brand, the infants Milicon, I think is how you pronounce it is the only one that works for her the off-brand doesn't work as well with that it still works okay but just not as well um, the next thing I want to get into is what we use when they're sick so this is baby chest rub it's by Maddie's Maddie's all natural it's a lavender chamomile eucalyptus I think yeah eucalyptus it's petroleum menthol free vegan cruelty free they don't test on animals um, it's also gluten free and we've been loving this it tells you actually right here all the ingredients sunflower coconut oil sunflower wax castor oil vitamin E and essential oils of chamomile, dill weed, lavender, eucalyptus, patchouli, and coriander. So we love it. 
We actually love it so much that we use it on ourselves whenever we're sick. So it's obviously very good if I'm going to use it instead of Vicks. Um, I just love the smell of it more than Vicks. And it's almost stronger. Like even just opening it burns my eyeballs. So super strong. I rub it on their feet and their chest and right under their nose. If Bella's really sick, I'll put a little bit on a Q-tip and kind of rub it around the inside of her nose. Really helps her. And the next thing that we use when they're sick is this. Highly recommend, highly recommend. And it was re recommended to us by our pediatrician, so I feel like it's a really good product. Um, it's a little on the more expensive side for a nasal aspirator because it works so well. It comes with the saline mist. If y'all saw that, um, it sprays right up their nose. Highly recommend this over any saline drops. It's just so hard to get saline drops into your baby's nose when they're moving around. They don't like you messing with their nose and their face. So they're going to move and they're going to cry and they're going to fuss. So it's so much easier just to grab this really fast and just shove it up their nose and just squirt it a couple of times really quick. Let that sit for like a minute and then use this. This is the actual nose, Frida. You suck on this end and then this end goes up their nose. So it has a filter, so I know it's a little gag worthy, but it does have a filter. Nothing goes into this tube. Nothing can make it into this tube. So you're not going to get boogers or snot up your nose. It's just a little nasty seeing everything go into this tube. It's just a little gross. It had me and my mom gagging, but it's worth it if it's gonna work better and it's gonna make your babies feel better, then a mom will do whatever. So this is the filter. You take it out and change it after every use um, because that's just gross. You wouldn't wanna leave that in. Um, so yeah, and then you wash this part. So there's that. Really recommend that over just a regular nasal aspirator. Looking around to see if I missed something and I didn't. The next thing I'm going to get into is diaper products. These are the wipes we use. Pampers. Complete Clean Baby Fresh. Love these. Um, that's just what we're using for right now because we still have wipes left over from our baby shower. But when I buy wipes, I really like the Baby Dove ones or the off-brand for Walmart love those those are a little bit thicker both of those the baby dove and the off-brand um, they're a lot thicker than the Pampers the Pampers I almost feel like my fingers just gonna go right through them and that's the last thing you want when you're changing your child's poopy diaper so there's that this is a doggy poopy bag um, buy these instead of the baby poopy bags they make those now and they're so much more expensive than these just go to the dog aisle and get these um you can even get them on a roll instead of the arm and hammer ones or whatever they sell in the baby aisle those are way too expensive just go grab these they work the same they're the exact same thing so grab these i keep them in the cart and the diaper bag so that's super helpful if we're ever out and there's no trash can or if there is a trash can we just have a stinky diaper then use those bags and now for the actual diapers this month what she's loving are the loves and the honest company diapers are these not the cutest little diapers you've ever seen their breakfast print um, it's hard to find just this print alone unless you order it straight from the honest company website so I haven't been able to get them because I, I'm i not a fan of ordering online. So I found these on Facebook Marketplace and met a lady to get them. And I got them for pretty cheap. And I had a whole unopened pack of them. So I love these. Really excited about those. And she loves them. What I like about them now is that the sides come up higher than most diapers. I don't know if y'all can tell. The sides come up higher so that holds a lot more 
junk in there. It's kind of like a pocket and it just catches everything. So love that. And then it has the cinched back. So ain't no, ain't no poopy coming out the back of this. So I'm loving these. I did not like the newborn ones. They were just too stiff. Uh, for the newborn diapers, we loved loves. Um, we always use these as a backup diaper. So if we run out of the ones we really like, we use loves. So for newborn, we were using Pampers. For her second month, we really loved Huggies. And then this month, I'm loving the Honest Diapers. Um, really like those. Next, I'm going to move into some clothing for y'all. I got this from Chasing Poppy's Boutique um, here in Cersei. Really, really loving it. This little nylon thing, really recommend for newborns. That's why I'm showing y'all this. It will not leave a mark and it stretches and grows with their little head so they can wear it for a long time. The next two things I'm gonna show you are onesies. This one is Rabbit, Rabbit and Bear and it's by Emily and Oliver. These are the cutest little onesies. They're a little thicker, but the armholes are really big and the leg holes are really big. And that's what I look for in onesies because my child is fat. So we have to have something that's going to accommodate for her rolls, but still fit her tummy snugly so it doesn't look like we put her in a size too big. The next one is a Laura Ashley baby onesie. These... I think I got both of these from Target and they come in four or five packs so you get a lot for your for your buck so these are really nice super stretchy she'll probably be in these until she's six months like they're really really stretchy look how big those leg holes are and the arms stretch nice and wide too for her arm rolls so we love this and it's super neutral really neutral colors and really soft so we're really liking those right now. The next thing are these Old Navy zip-up sleepers. I recommend these over the Carters, um, which I know isn't common <laughs> for moms to say, but these are so much softer, a lot more stretchy. I mean, look at look how stretchy the belly is. Like, that's ridiculous. I have never seen a baby that wide, so... Your baby's going to fit in it for a while. And something else that's not common is look how far it stretches this way. Normally it doesn't stretch so far this way because that's the seam. And it won't stretch as far. It's a little stiffer. But these things will grow and grow and grow with your kid. Ellie just now grew out of it. And it's a zero to three month. So she's in almost six month clothes right now. And she's three months old. She just grew out of this. So... We love this thing. Really recommend the zip ups. But I'm about to show y'all some button up ones that I'm also going to highly recommend. So it just depends on you and what you like. My baby loves fleece. So she loves to sleep in fleece just like Bella does. Bella will not go to sleep without a fleece zip up sleeper on. But it's hard to find zip up fleece in newborn sizes. So had to get a button up not my favorite but it's a little footy and it's by carter's yeah it's made by carter's love that the next thing is this now i will recommend this all day long every day i'm actually about to go and buy some more the only thing i will say is that these run just a little bit small so normally you buy a newborn size and you think it's going to fit my newborn no matter what size they come out. Unless you have like a nine and a half pound baby. Normally newborn stuff is going to fit them. Right when they're born. These will not. So please look at the sizes before you buy these. This is loved baby. But that's the only downside. And it's not really a downside. You should be looking at sizing charts anyway before you buy something. But this is zero to three months. And it's from 7 to 12 pounds. So this is like a newborn. Like a newborn size. But it says 0 to 3 months instead of newborn. Their newborn size is from... Is up to 7 pounds. So not normally what you see. So they run just a little small as far as sizing goes. 
but this is what I love about these is they have the built-in mitts and they're so soft so this is what she wore in the hospital for our hospital pictures I'm having the hardest time talking y'all I'm so tired <laughs> I'm so sorry um she wore this in our hospital pictures um I got this because it's so soft and I wanted something that wasn't going to irritate her little skin which is why I got the next product too um but it's just so nice and she still loves it so that's a win in my book she has loved it and loved it and loved it until the mitts are turning black like she is really loving these and when they get a little bigger and they're crawling or walking it has grippies on the bottom so when you get the bigger sizes they still have the grippies and I really recommend those Bella has the zip up sleepers from Carter's the fleece ones and for some reason the grippies on the bottom just rub right off after one wash but this thing has been washed probably about 40 times 50 times by now and the grippies are still completely on there there's not one grip missing so these really hold up well really loving that and what went with it <coughs> sorry what went with it was this copper pearl swaddle so this is the stretchiest swaddle I've ever used with either baby I have yet to find anything that compares to this so really recommend this if you're looking for a swaddle that's stretchy enough to wrap them super tight and they can't get their arms out of this Ellie is a much squirmier baby than Bella ever was and she has yet to pull her arms out of this she's not using a swaddle anymore I'm actually about to do a video on her sleep progression with the nested bean sleep sack which I'll show y'all in one of my next upcoming videos it has a rice patch in the front that's weighted and then it has rice patches on the sides so it makes them feel like they're being held anyway I'll tell you all about it in another video but that's what she's using now this is what she was using highly recommend this for newborns especially because it is so soft and it's not a waste of money because then you can just use it as a breastfeeding cover or you can use it on top of their car seat to keep the rain off of them or whatever or just a blanket this is what we keep in her car seat with her little passy buddy um, just while it sits here in the house and then when we go somewhere, I just throw it over her legs and then give her her passy. And that's how we go places. So there's that. Really recommend this. Really worth the money. The next thing is this Happy Tummy. Really cool product. Got this from Walmart. Has a rice patch in the front that smells like lavender. You take it out of the patch or from the pocket. Um... It velcros if I can get it open there we go take it out microwave it and then you velcro it onto your baby's tummy like this kind of tight not too tight but just enough to put a little bit of pressure on their tummy it's warm now so really helps their stomach when they're having gas issues highly highly recommend I've used it with two babies and it's been amazing and it's washable so if you get the baby puke on it then you can just wash it and it's no big deal um another thing I want to recommend from the car seat is that white noise machine portable white noise machine that I showed y'all in my diaper bag video so if you haven't seen that please go back and watch that video if you want to see what it looks like what brand it is where I got it the price and what it does I demonstrated all in that video and we love that thing we use it everywhere we go so please go check that out because you're gonna love it the next thing is these passies um, are these passies so this is the one she's loving right now which is why it's on her passy buddy but this is what she loved when she was a newborn um, we breastfed and it's hard to find a passy that feels like a nipple because none of them are really hard enough to feel like a nipple so 
This is Nature Sutton pacifier. It has the orthodontic tip and it's rounded with just the normal holes. You can get some that have like moons and stars and all kinds of stuff. But I just got the simple one because if we have another baby sometime ever, then I want to be able to use this with another baby. So no matter the gender, it's just gender neutral. Love that. That's also why I got this pacifier. And for this other reason is that if she decides she doesn't want to take passies, this pops in and now it's a teether. So Bella decided at three months she didn't like passies anymore. So this would have been extremely helpful uh, than to buy the 10 passies we bought and her decide not to like them anymore. So really, really, really recommend this. It just pops right back out. And that's a good way to keep it clean too. If you're going places or if you're afraid that your baby's going to drop it in the car seat. If I keep it in the car seat on her passy buddy and she's not using it, I always pop that in. Uh, just to avoid some germs on it. I'm not a germ freak mom, but you never know. Whatever helps, you know. And then I click it onto her little passy buddy. You can see that this has Velcro. And I got this from Walgreens. It's called a Raz Baby Pacifier Buddy. And we got the little pink penguin because she's a girl. And it's hard to find girl products for Passy Buddies. They're all pretty gender neutral. And I wanted something pink and cute. So this is the one we got. And she loves it. Loves it. Uh, the next thing I'll show you since we're talking about pacifiers are her bottles. Now these are dirty because these are the ones that she used last. Because obviously... She loves these, so it's obviously what she's going to use. This is the 8 ounce Munchkin Latch Bottle. It works just like a boob. The harder they pull or the harder that they press on this part, the harder it's going to come out. And this moves with their little mouth. So no matter how much they pull and move, it moves with them. Um, unlike normal bottles where when they... When they move, it just pops right out of their mouth. Sorry. This is what she just ate her nighttime bottle in. And I just haven't washed it yet. So, there's that. But, highly recommend this. It has an anti-colic bottom. I got this in Texas at uh, Brookshire's. So, really love this. You can order them online too. Highly recommend that. It's her favorite right now. And it's just about all she'll eat out of. Except for this. This is her nighttime rice bottle. She drinks it out of the ma'am, but she doesn't like the ma'am nipples right now. She's just very, very picky, and she has a different favorite bottle about every week. So, we have about 10 different brands of bottles up in my cabinet, and it's just hard to find one that she consistently likes, other than that munchkin latch. She will always eat out of that one. It's just, sometimes that's dirty, and you don't feel like washing a bottle or you want to take one with you to church and you don't want to wash it before you go because you don't have time so it's nice to have like a backup bottle and I only have one of those so anyway she doesn't like the ma'am nipples right now and I can't find one that's big enough for the rice to go through and I do not recommend cutting your nipples for rice don't cut them just buy a bigger nipple stage so this is Phillips Avent stage four I think whatever their highest stage is that's what this is she drinks her nighttime bottle out of it every single night and it fits the man perfectly if you're looking for compatibility charts for nipples like if you go to Walmart and you're like I just can't find the nipple for this bottle you can look online and most bottles have a different nipple that is compatible with a different brand and you can see which ones fit. So that fits hers. And she loves that. Now for a couple of nighttime products. This is my favorite lotion. We've used this every single night since Ella was born on both kids. And it's Stress Relief of Vino with lavender chamomile. And it calms and relaxes. She loves this. As soon as we put it on her, she knows it's bedtime. And the same with this. Johnson's Calming Shampoo. Um... If something happens during the day and they need to be washed, we use the shampoo version of this, just the pink one. Um, 
because I don't want them to think that it's nighttime. So we only use this at nighttime. Um, it's a lavender one. They both love it and it smells so good. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would recommend, but I really think that that's it. We even don't, I don't recommend any swings or anything right now. Ellie just, honestly, she just sits up, oh, I got one more thing, actually. She just sits up on the couch and just, she'll talk to you and hang out. Or she'll sit in this thing on the bed. This is a miniature boppy pillow. It says nursing pillow on the side. I got this thing for free, just paid shipping from the little tags they give you, little coupon book thing whenever you first go to your OB office. Normally they give you like a coupon book. This was this was in it. All you paid for was shipping. It was only like four or five dollars for it. So have loved this. I got it for Bella and still have it and it's not nasty it washes uh, Bella slept with it until one year old she used it as a pillow so she loved this thing and I took it away from her and gave her a big girl pillow at one year old and now Ellie uses this so it's kind of a nice sentimental thing for us and it has withheld a ton so really recommend that and then I guess that's it um, the swing that we use is the Bright Stars swing from Walmart, but Ellie really doesn't like it, so I don't really recommend any baby, big baby products right now other than like a pack and play and a crib. Um, she sleeps in the crib for naps and for bedtime, so I, I don't really recommend a rock and play or anything like that because she doesn't use them when she's never liked them, so I all I would be able to recommend is a crib and a pack and play. Uh, pack and plays are great because they can grow with your baby. So when they're bigger, there's a bigger part in the bottom for them to get into. Bella used it when we went to my mom's. Um, we took the pack and play and Bella slept in that and Ellie slept in the bed uh, by herself. Just I slept on an air mattress. She slept on the bed by herself. So I, re I recommend a pack and play just because they can sleep on them for forever. Um, and it's nice to take to ball games and stuff like that when you don't have a place to put them. And you don't want them running around. I don't really recommend any toys or anything for this age other than high contrast books and stuff like that. But they really aren't able to interact much at this age. So, we just spend a lot of time holding and talking to her and just spending time with her. Um, we don't give our kids screen time or anything crazy like that. Um, we have an activity mat, but she doesn't really like it right now. Anytime I put her on her stomach, now that she sleeps on her stomach, she thinks it's bedtime. So, she just lays down and goes to sleep. So, we don't really do tummy time on the mat or anything because she just goes right to sleep. So, I don't really have much else to recommend. I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about anything or want links to anything, be sure to let me know and I can provide that for you. But for now, I think that's going to be all for this video, guys. So, be sure to like if you enjoyed this content so that I can see what y'all like to see. And I can make more of these videos if you're interested. Um, I could do a toddler necessity video because she has tons of toddler products and toys that I could recommend. Um, also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you didn't know, once I hit 50 subscribers, if I do before Father's Day, then I'm going to give away a $50 gift card of your choice to whoever wins. And I'll be picking the name out of my subscriber list. So make sure that you're signed in and your account's not private so that I can see your name and draw from my list of subscribers and see who wins. So that'll be super fun, but I have to reach at least 50 subscribers by Father's Day to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, if I reach 100 by Father's Day, I'll do a $100 gift card. So one of the two, whatever ends up happening, that's what I'll do, either a 50 or a 100. So it could be a nice Father's Day gift. So be sure to subscribe to me, share with your friends, uh, have your friends subscribe and start watching my videos so that we can make it 
to 50 or 100 and I can give one of y'all a really nice Father's Day present. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what kind of content y'all would like to see next and I can make it for you. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye.